the, the problem with central planning money, which is such a core technology to society working, think about it, Ed, you go to work every single day and you pour your blood, sweat and tears all of the time you spend on this planet in exchange for what? Money. So right. the central planning of money convolutes and complicates so much of the inner workings of society. Let's go back to basics. Our government is in debt, right? Yes or no? The U.S. government, that is. What? All governments, right? Our government's yes. in debt. Okay. Traditionally, Ed, if I owed you 20 bucks, I'd have two options. I'd one have to default on that and say, you know what, Ed, I hope you still consider me a good friend, but I'm not going to make whole on that $20. The other is I could pay it back. Those are classically the two options that anyone in debt has, right? Now, the government, because they centrally plan and control our currency, unfortunately has a third, and that's that they can print more money, devalue the debt that they have and that they owe, and allocate more capital to themselves. So our government can't default. The U.S., the United States of America cannot default on debt. It would collapse the entire planet. We also cannot afford to pay it back. So if you just like, listen, I didn't even go to college, brother. This is just 101 basics, how the world works. If we can't default and we can't pay it back, what's the only option that they have to do? No matter what they sit and tell you at the Fed chair meetings and all of the economists, they have to issue more dollars. And so if there's going to be more pieces of green paper, you want them competing for the most fixed thing. Right. There's more right. dollars that are competing for a fixed amount of Bitcoin. And, Jack, and yes, real estate's going to go up, too, because there's more dollars competing for real estate. But they can make more real estate. They can find more gold. They can't make any more Bitcoins. And that's just I mean, even a college dropout can understand that, my friend. Jack, let, let me jump in and again, just reiterate that your, your the basic of the argument is that they're only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoin. And the the. Yes. the finality of that what, what am i trying to say the, the the supply constraint on that is what will provide upward momentum